Yeah, my people, blessed love. This is Daniel Marshall, the yes upon the infrastructure work with the other upon Kansas Spring Road, just left out of church. Daniel Marshall, Deponate. Just come out and get a piece of it so that you guys can see how um, the environment look on a Sunday. On a Sunday, basically, most stores locked down and the plazas, but up here, so. You can still see a few stores open out on the open up on the plazas here and in Manor Park. Manor Park is a superb, superb of Kansas Spring. Alright, some people um We're looking at this. We couldn't say retain a wall but a parameter line fence wall as you can see. Um, you know that them really blocking in something, but them still giving the public a chance to see what going on and what is happening over here. All right, we can see some of the some of the some of the black wall come up out of the out of the ground, the foundation and the wall, but we still see some of the steels them here, so um, still running from foundation. See, and the foundation is really heavy and mighty full, so we know so it's a powerful wall them putting up there. All right, so as we look down the line, there we can see the we can see the chain link fence them um, fence posts. Yeah, so we know so once the fence, the chain link fence I put up on it, then people will get access to see a walk on over there. May I go down the road down further, I'm already see um, the, the igla there over there, so. Yeah man, uh, yeah, my youth days friend. We, we used to run the street up on Kansas Spring when we were youth, believe me, from where I picked me. We grew a big man right now, so I go over there and check him and find out what go on up there. I never put the camera up on him because you don't know the people them stay about camera and videotaping things, eh? But just to give the eye them a look out in na, na Jamaica, yeah, you know, on the Sunday, you have to see um, the commute and the environment. In fact, me should have an idea, but I don't know. I'm going to find out from the boss, the man and boss, if you may tell me what possible or one of my friends who may used to work with. But anyway, so far we don't know, but we can know say well ever ever them putting up over there. Yeah, it could be see because we can see the um the chain link wall fence man. We are go up over here, sir. And so far it's a good look out this up on Kansas Spring Road same way. Alright my people, thank the Adam for watching again, thank the Adam for everything, thank the Adam for supporting my channel. people job people blessed love this is daniel marshall for the infrastructure work on this a monday afternoon yeah. here i go on my people something been rocking my mind and rocking my brain real hard all right my day that's up on the plush and wonderful constant spring road as you know all right but there's a very important issue me come for bring to the item attention real talk it's driving me out of my mind we know so the government kind of strapping for cash but considering it back and forth, back and forth, I said no, I'm not going to do that vlog here. But I really need to do that vlog here because you want to the need I need to do that vlog here. We as black Jamaican ghetto people are dying for a chance, dying for a chance to live with a qualified life, a quality life, a good, decent life before we die. All right, boom shot. I will expose more. We're looking up on Manor Park right now and Kemlani Mart, um, which is Manor Center. And we can see the plushiness of Kansas Spring. Real, real up class and real beautiful. We love it. I not tell you I don't know lie. We love it. And it's a need. And we give thanks to the road is built up. We give thanks to the upscale. We give thanks to Kansas Spring. We give thanks to all multi-rich people. And their children. And their children's children. Alright, boom shot. So we're going up. Alright, and we're going to bring the things to the item ish. Attention. Alright, boom shot. As we can see, before we go on, as you can see, the country is building and developing, but we're not moving along. We're not moving ahead as a people. Boom shot. 
year upon top of year and year over year again the government pouring out millions of dollars billions of dollars in Jamaica society building up infrastructure building up bridges setting up satellites setting up electrical poles building up roads and all these things building up buildings infrastructure buildings developing lives and all these things understand me but we still lacking and in a stand still area and i'm going to expose the reason why boom shot why well, i mean i have no time for hold back now because i'm going to do something good but there's a quality there's a good amount of we as jamaican black people ghetto people who is willing to live a decent upscale life for where we children them and i'm going to expose it to the eye them and the eye them see because since there's nobody not talk or it don't look so because people get used to looking down on us and it's not a nice thing or a nice feeling we are the ones who are suffering or are in the pain for so much years so many years year in year out we need a change boom shot All right, my people, so we're there, so at, um, where did I say, 93 and a half, Casa, Constant Spring Road. All right, mm -hmm. but, you see this, you see this through road, you know, this through road, they go right down through Casa Office, but them use it as a, as a relief road. Right now, as the square, you see, it's been used as a relief road for Constant Spring Road, which is very nice and very necessary because if anything, I have an overflow of traffic and things on Constant Spring Road, you can take this right yes sir and go straight down to, to Manningsville Road. You can get bypass, go down to Aki Walk, you can go up on the boulevard, you can go Red Hills Road. You can go all about once you come through this road and go back down. Go down that area. Now it's very important for the government to fix it up and it's very fixed up. But I'm just showing you the interest right now that the government have is only for the upscale people and i think the government should have put more interest in the ghetto people and the ghetto area because this road and all this little road there is you know i'm gonna show you it fix up them just paved it the other day and our road where we depend on the gully side road down on the further down i'm gonna show you it's still left years undressed and fixed and as i said it came um as you can see the mana center and came down the mart is really setting up real nice for business as you can know, really upscale and really classy. So we give thanks to them. Fix the road, yeah. See, but may I show you the interior of the ghetto in a casa piece and them place eh, where the government need to pay attention to because, because of the because. We could go down there and show the item. Boom shot. All right, as you can see, it's been paved all the way. It's been fixed up all the way from down by the bridge, by the landmark bridge. Boom shot to up here. By the entrance of Constant Spring Road. Bless up. Grandma? All right, man. All right. No, it wasn't me that tried to do it, but it not happened. It happened now. <laughs> Just to show you, just need to set up and develop and regulate it right. And it now get right all of a sudden and all of a sudden because you know, we're kind of used to certain things and we can't, we can't get to dispose of them to think they properly because uh, most of the places, the trucks and the thing them can't have access to it like them to narrow road there. Yeah. See? But other things can't happen. Yeah man, remember the last time, remember the last time it had come through here, so and we make a we make a vlog in this area about the condition that they did not, and they said it's very important for them to fix it up because people using it as an access road as a true road because remember when the road did a fix you know and when we was fixing the road <clears throat> and you have the whole heap traffic jam yes and this and we block off one side of the, I true yes and most of the traffic used to come through understand me Right through here, so enough for the upscale people. I mean, see, it says a very good thing if the government fix it. And they did. Understand me? Give thanks to that. Boom shot. Now, if the road's been fixed up, set up and regulated, the people will 
eventually feel a sense of dignity. You understand what I say? And that will allow them to start develop this quality, dignified life. And so you will find, say, a whole heap of the crime and the violence and the bad liberty. We kind of just fade out. All right? But wisdom of a put in it. Yeah, man, so... I believe the people, as you, as you look around, remember this spot on the, on the video tape, this spot I made the vlog about this spot. The item said, Jeez, I'm crying. Look at the place, look at the people, them do the place, and the place dirty, and the place chaka chaka, because I whole up a thing the day, all I send a whole up a garbage pile and chuck, whole chuck and them something there. Now. While I'm coming and clear it up now and fix the road, it make, uh, better. You can't see the feel the sense of dignity. You can't feel, you can see the, the, the sense of pride from the people them face when they say, all right, the road decent and clean. If, if it's even set laws, you make the people them maintain the road and clean up the road. Now, if you look on that, this other side of the road, yeah, there's a lot of ghetto people live over there who need to feel a sense of this dignified life. I mean, I tell and they be really nice if that side of the road. All the way going down to my side, you know, straight down from my side coming up. You know. Understand me? And it's also a relief road for Kansan Spring. It's also a two road because it takes you all the way back up to the top of Kansan Spring Road up by the roundabout. See? Alright, so boom. This road go all the way out to Clifton Boulevard out there, so. Clean and nice. So you have a nice good drive through road you can drive through. Right, go. Kansan Spring and cut out enough of the traffic and enough of the things. Understand me? And. The place is not all that them said. Because you know, see nobody a, a hold on nobody and a rape nobody and a rob nobody around there. So it's just that little individual conflict and family. Family conflict. You know what I say? Yeah, man, domestic problem and them things. So if the government come in and set up with laws and the regulations, the police need to come out and come into these areas too and make the laws be known and make people be known. Have community meeting and them things, which is very important. If you can look all around, you can see all the development and the building we are going. Why would we be, be trying to build when we're supposed to try to run out of Jamaica? Because we see the need, we want to live a qualified life. Believe me, but we definitely see it's, it's only the government, only the government can make that movement here. Because we need the security, we need the police force as security. Understand me? We need the government behind it, we need the laws behind it. Individual can't do it because if individual try to do anything, a be a war and shit now go on to them get a year because they have so much disagreement with people. And some people now want nothing for change because as much as it is right now, them good. They have enough food in them house, they have enough money in the bank book, and them neighbor now have none. And then good with that. Alright, boom shot. So alright, you can see. Alright, blessed brother. Yeah man, you can see. But you are going with things, man. Give me some more work when you're ready, yeah. If you two overload for you, you can give me some. Alright. Bless it. Alright, so I'm going to go through one little avenue here, so and go up in a, in a, in a, in a, in a the thickness. But the item see the development we are going up. There's a look all around my lad, it's pure building I go up. It's whole heap of money we are spent for buy these materials for this thing. It's whole heap of tax money we are spent. We need it. We need the development. We need the government to come in and straighten out things so it massive enough. But you can, you can, you can. We know so the, our government can. Alright? Boom shit. See them thing that we used to call a call button. You know? Remember we used to go up in them thing then with all the little girlfriend and do a little thing them. Yeah, yeah when we all the idols from our parents and we go up in all them call button and can't find it. Understand me? I know people get wash out, wash out in them call button. You know? Sometimes gone in the gone sleep and then thing there. You know? Alright, so we don't want the tape space it done, alright? Boom, we are focused on the ghetto yeah, and the development of what go on the ghetto. And you can see so we really are trying to develop my people. Really, I try for it because I know all, I know all the way the government will get a chance to go overseas. See there? And I try to put up anything, no matter how small, no matter, no matter how, and really, I try to develop a quality life, a qualified life to live. Understand me? And we need, we really need the intervention of the churches and the government to come in. Get the people is dying out, dying out by numbers. Blessed. See it now, the mass space I know. GPS need them, Digicel need them for drive them vehicle. The government need it when you are there patrolling a thing to keep the peace and them something there. Alright? 
And while my people say, if you look around, you can see the development all around. Everything around, you see. Everything as a, you see, a pure development are going on. Pure development. We need the intervention to help set up the road. See the road, there, man? See? I don't know still in my people. But to come like, we have to just hurry up and do what we have to do because if the government decide to come in and set up the road, enough things and look, enough like a free, free way we could have certain things, we now get with them. So we have to get with, with pipelines and cross the road, we have to get with things and set up certain ways so we're not impeding them. We are certain. We can't take, take too much time because you don't know ghetto people stand and like too much of the video camera. Alright, so we have got you the same way. Ah, boom shot. Yeah, man, we the ghetto people are really trying. They really are trying because when all them wet time and thing uh, the place damp and crunked up and the rotten board and the zinc fence and them thing there. So people kinda get tired of them things and they might develop one time people they just have them head for just go away, go overseas. But believe me, a whole heap of things change right now. And people look like some people get turned on by the embassy they so bad that some just decide to you know say my little partner money and my little thing we just all use to develop my house and develop my thing. Yeah. Yeah my people, so you don't know. I know the cassava piece of them man. Nice place, nice area, I believe we just need a peace and we just need a development and a dignified lifestyle. Boom shot. Glad I like how the road fix up nice though, me I take a big old stoner, big old dirt and all kind of thing the devil wears so and how them clean up everything. So they put all the little jump there, so, but if they're not careful, they jump there now, but overflow the, the garbage again, so I'm going to pay, pay attention to the thing. See the landmark bridge there, right there, so now, boom shot. Yeah, man, just so they had them, can see, you can see that gully side of the pond, the gully there. Yeah, man, gully side, gully ride, boom shot. So this is where that road uh, begin and it carry all the way back up to Kansas. You don't know, good truth, right through road. I'm going to take you to Glen Jarvis so because through Glen Jarvis and that true road and you can see develop. Alright, see how well, see this church road I'm here telling you how come from here so it's being neglected all the way, go straight up to Constant Spring. You understand me I say? Pure neglect. But right now, but I like my shoes kind of walk past so a nice paved road. See, it's like I don't know my rims and developing in my house. So them things are very important to we as black people. Real talk with a sense of dignity because you know, lots of people, lots of decent people here, decent or enough, I want to live a dignified lifestyle. Lots of Christian people, decent Christian people, lots of decent Rastafari people, lots of decent black people, all right, who need the attention, who, who do have the opportunity for always, run with for always, go overseas, understand me? And what I really like, Mr. Government, Mr. Prime Minister, please pay attention on the road and need development, man. I tell you, John was the... <laughs> Yo, boom shot. Yeah, man, when I tell we see them, I take up all the whole care of them and things from here, so... If I check so over here, then probably I get ready for you. Read the road, yeah. Because the road was here, and if you can look over this, you see the curve wall, you know. The road, from them, from them fix this road, from them build this road, them don't come back and fix it. No time at all, no come back and pay, no time at all. It's weird, get how many years now, you know? It get real run down now. I talk about over for about 40 years and so, you know, get a real run down now. And it can really use, it can really use a redevelopment. Yeah. Yeah, man, see, same little lane, you know? dead man lane. Remember, all the power, all the car and things, the dead boy, so. Who checks the place, so? You understand me? We have to develop at this time. We know it's probably not going to happen because there's so much flooding and so much, so much road we broke down. We need to fix up emergency in Jamaica right now. That's <laughs> when I'm looking at this, I'm used to come play domino. You should just come out here, so and the bridge in the man just sit down and play domino. You understand me? Yeah, man. Boom shot. Yeah, man, so all around this career, this Glen Jive here, you know, it's been paved off, road tear off, and you know, if you are stepping on the dirt and stepping on your house, you know, so your house can be cleaner, which is a really good look. Would I like the same thing for implement them and, and plant it on the gully side, on our side of the weed, you understand me? So we can, you know, so when I'm coming, the bottom the dirt, you know, pure dirt, and raw. You know, tell us, you step, you step of dirt, you carry in the house, huh? you understand me? If you're not careful of dirt, you lay down on my bed, see? 
Boom shot. And you can see the road has been paved off. And it go all the way through, as I say, all the way back through, round there. You understand me? All the way around to Kasav is so, um, Clifton Boulevard and thing. Alright? But, we need, we need a place, we need a dignified lifestyle. We know some people don't boom. Yeah, my people, so it, it basically look like as long as the road, as long as the true road, the true ghetto road, or the ghetto through road, is benefiting corporate Jamaica society, then the government is all with it. But as long as it's going to benefit just the ghetto people, sure, them can stay and wait till maybe next year, maybe the year after. When we have surplus, what if a surplus to do it? I understand the feeling, Mr. 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 General, Mr. Government. But really, we are we are we are we are being inflicted with a whole of crime and violence and unregistered thing. Understand me? If you pay attention to the ghetto and what go on at the ghetto and regulate certain things, propagate number and them thing there, a whole of the crime and thing are hold on. No? You must find the value. Find the value. Find the value in the ghetto community because there are people too. They have children going to school too. Understand me? Who is coming up fresh and who can really be of some good use to Jamaica? Understand me? But how them gonna do so if if they're always in a turmoil? If they... Okay, my people. Some of are standing in front. Uh, Big yard, me there as a stand up on Super Value Plaza. And if you can look straight on a big yard, you can see a big yard road pave off. It was a road there, chamber chamber, seem like full gully side road. Now. But it's because of the beside this big corporate <coughs> um, supermarket where all these upscale Jamaican, dignified Jamaican shop and them thing. Yeah, it's really nice to get these here clean up and nice up. So the road very nice to develop, seeing same like the Glen Drive era, but According to the gully side here where me depp on now, it no no big corporate, it no support now, but it's a true road. We could go over there go do something. Bless up. Yeah my people, alright my people. So thank the item for watching. I hope I've said enough to awaken the awareness of the issue and and blessed love. Keep watching my videos. Thanks for supporting. You see what I say? If you have any job, don't, don't forget to ask me as a builder and they are ready and need some work, right? Boom shot. As me still there for my own project, I'm still judging the manhole. Yeah. Alright, so we give thanks to the love and the strength continually. Alright, my people. Boom shot. Blaze up. To get, go to the side here at the road, you know, so it starts from here, so. Just like a hole, like a, it's just like a hole punching on the wall, you know. We definitely need a road to build up and develop properly because see what I want now, people start using these areas you know, to dump them garbage and things. And if we set up properly and a good retainer wall go back there sir, and over there, sir. You can't go on. You can't have a decent neighborhood, believe that. Because we need the road. When the water comes down through us, you know, man, I tell you the water flood down through us, you know, because all of the water shoot down from everywhere and it just floods through us and all the poor them, the place somewhere. Them water they're supposed to shoot off and go in that gully. Most of them places are kind of black off right now because of the generation population grew and advance and more people, more people injecting the area and the community. So they definitely need a redevelopment, you know. Saying boom shots, some of the right, I saw my little home project, you know. Yeah, man, dying for the road fix something, man. You see? So they I don't know. Boom shot.